my favorite thing about this job is the fact that I come here every day and turn on the lights and go, I just can't believe that I did this. Even when I look at it now, it doesn't feel like we're on a college campus. My name is Jay Henry, and I'm the program director here at the Center for Recording Arts and Technology at Southwestern College in Chula Vista, California. My dean called me into her office, and she asked me, she said, Jay, what would you do if you could build your dream studio? And I said, well, you don't ask a guy like me that kind of question. I said, I would want to build a real studio because it's very important. I said, if we want to do this, I have to have the space. I have to have a real room. I didn't even think about it. I just said, no problem. We have two studios primarily that we're going to be using the RedNet system in. Studio A, where we're at now, has a RedNet 5 and two RedNet 2s. RedNet! And then Studio B is going to have one RedNet 5 and one RedNet 2. Today it was great because uh, working with Jay, uh, you know, he's, he's done a great job here with the studio and this program at, at the college. And it was great to come in and, and just open up the RedNet boxes and see his reaction. I mean, he was really excited. And uh, it was great to help him pull the old units out. Starting to get a little excited now. Putting in some new colorful red nets. Mounting the red net units in the rack and plugging them up in the back and plugging the digital link connector and connecting Pro Tools and the analog in and outs and the ethernet connection to the switch. And it was just a lot of fun to see his reaction uh, knowing that his studio is going to jump to another level. This is really, really cool. All devices on the RedNet network are connected with standard CAT6 cables to a central network switch. The RedNet 5s connect to the existing Pro Tools HD workstations via Digilink to the Pro Tools HD cards in the studio computers. Once connected, RedNet 5 appears in the Pro Tools hardware window just like any other multi-channel interface. The RedNet 2s each provide 16 analog inputs and outputs to the RedNet system allowing for high quality audio to be streamed to and from different parts of the facility at super low latency. Dante is the audio networking language that RedNet uses, which allows us to create audio networks that are scalable, highly expandable, and interoperable with any other Dante-enabled devices uh, from other manufacturers as well. So what that brings to the studio now is an interconnectivity that was really unavailable in the past. Jay's, you know, been around. He's a legend. He's uh, worked on so many great records and recordings throughout the years. It's a pleasure to have him interested in Focusrite and RedNet and him understanding that, uh, you know, RedNet and Audio over Ethernet and Dante, you know, really are going to be a part of the future of recording. This is fabulous because this fits my philosophy of integration. You know, this whole building can be physically tied together. I can have students in every single room and bring all of that audio into one central location. RedNet is going to facilitate that and just expand the capabilities. Our students are going to be very happy. Definitely the right move. I feel really good about it.